Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So are you all getting ready for the holidays? I am, of course. You guys know I've been talking about it forever, right? So this is November 2024's Paper Pumpkin alternative video number two. Um, in video number one, it was basically a show and tell of what the kit was and what I had done with the those stockings. So yes, the sock stockings, a uh, bit of a struggle, but I did it. They're all complete. So I do have some photos. They may not be the best photos on my tablet. Um, but each day that I do another video, I will bring a stocking in and, and show you cause they're hanging up. Um, so let's look at what you got in this month's kit. I know there are going to be those people who absolutely love this kit. I know people have already said they opted out of this kit. I understand the opting out point. So here's a look at what the kit was and is. It's called Filled with Joy. They were eight stockings with these little tags. On the back here, you have a QR code that will show you how to assemble the tags and put them together. On the back here, this QR code leads you to a set of three dies, one, two, and three, called Merry Tags and More. And then a visual of everything in the kit, and then the cording, coordinating colors, which are Flirty Flamingo, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Shaded Spruce, and Very Vanilla. <coughs> um, I think these are very 1950s colors, and if, let me see if I get a second, I can pull my tags. Here we go. So, um, these, this tag would be great for making Christmas, um, tags, um, the, the little, uh, bobbles and stuff. I'll be doing that in the alternative using some of the stamps. So let's take a look at those stamps. So sending lo lots of cheers, uh, it says filled with joy, Merry Christmas to and from, from Santa, Holly Jolly. These, th these are three separate images. Um, the little stars or sparkles, the little bobbles, which I think are really cute, and this little one here. So those are what the stamps look like. And that's uh, really, there's not a whole lot in this kit. There were the stockings, of course. You got eight of these. And then, okay, you got, yes, 12 um, ornaments, but only nine toppers. So only nine of these and I started gluing them down and then I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. There's only nine of them. So you got three of this design, three of this design, three of this design, and three of this design. I think that was stinky winky that you only got nine of those because you're missing out then on three toppers. So I've got to figure out what to do with that. Then you got these bulb safety pens. I think that's what they're called. Um, I probably don't have a use for these at all. Um, so, and then this was a little stinky winky. You only got 10 glue dots, but of course that's all you need if you use the kit as it was designed and then the little dimensional. So today I do think I can make a really cute card with the trash bit, of course, using the white side. Today we're going to use one of these tags. We're going to do a, um, do I have, I want to put this in here. I want to put this in here. Hold on guys. Cause otherwise I will sh surely lose. I want to stick that in there and I am bringing in this uh, paper pumpkin it's from October 2023's Home for the Holidays. This was from last year's. It went with this set, Home for the Holidays. I'm going to bring in this one for the uh, sentiments for the inside. Celebrate the wonder and joy of this festive season and for the Merry Christmas. That's going to be the inside for whatever cards I make. And I'm going to keep it simple and just use that. So this is going to go in my box of goodies. But there are so many more things you can bring in to, to making. So I'm going to share with you some other things while we're going to do show and tell. I'm going to share with you my daughter's gloves and my aunt's gloves, the finished projects, right? So here are my daughters, right? So they go like this. 
Boone's dog hair. So there's my daughter set, and that's little Tia's dog hair, but they came out really kind of pretty, right? So those are hers. Let's put them back in the bag. And these are my aunts. Now I'm going to tell you, there's two different ways these were done. This, of course, uh, I crocheted a circle. Well, I crocheted a chain and connected it and then crocheted, you know, around and around and around. And then when I got to a certain point, my daughters, I skipped um, five and then chained five, just didn't connect it here. I skipped five, chained, skipped looping it into here and I just chained five and then started it back in at number six. And that's how I got my thumb hole. For these, totally different. This was just stitching a panel like this and I made it overlap here and then I stitched it, oh my dog hair, I stitched it up the side and left plenty of room for the hole. So I stitched it up and then back down and then up and down and then I did all the way around for my trim work and I made a little flower and a little button. So these are my aunts and I am currently working on mine. So that's that show and tell. Then, you guys ready to see the stockings? Let me show you one. So, and I did have to change some things. So here is one stocking. See the little lantern? We went to Walmart and all of the little embellishment thingies I got at Walmart were $2.50. You couldn't beat it. So let me show you my little goodie tray. Some things I'll be returning to Michael's. Some things I'll be able to keep. My little my little elves, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking my little elves. <laughs> I can't return these guys. Guys, these are these are too stinky cute. These might be going on here. And I was going to do these for Jessa, but I might just make these for my tree and just stick them and make little... Because these little elves are just too, too cute, right? So... These guys are probably, I, I can't get rid of them no matter what. I thought about hiding them throughout the house, um, which I still might just sit them in little places because there is a story behind um, elves. My mother had this super, super old figurine that, um, that I think was my grandmother's and she would hide it in flower pots and that's because us kids would touch it and we grew up looking for this little house elf. I mean, it was this little tiny thing about this big. And it, it was laying down like this, and he had his hands up like this, right? And his legs were up like this. So this, this is what he looked like. Just all in green. He was just a little, you know, figurine. And my mother didn't want it broken, and so that's why she would stick him in flower pots. And every time us kids, she would notice that we'd bother him, she would move him to a different flower pot or our spot. And it, it drove her nuts that we would search and search for this little, this little house elf. But um, as we got older, you know, she would tell us, why would you guys search for And we're like, because he was so cute. We just had, you know, kids just have to touch things. Hank just has to touch things. Anyways, mm. Um, my sister Nora has that house elf now, I know, because, oh, if I was a, a bad one and got on the naughty list, it would be because I would steal that little elf out of her flower pot. So this is my attempt at making a Christmas tree to put on those stockings, but it was way too big. So that was a, a failure on my 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 behalf and my husband's like you know you could make it smaller and I said you know what honey I'm not doing that so that's a, a no-go so I'll probably just hang that on my Christmas tree so these are some of the things I got look at 250 right so changed my ornaments wait till you see what I did with these I added a little bit to those see this little one um I mean, I don't do miniature anything, but I still have like one extra, so I'm not sure what to do with it. And then this one were antlers, which when we, my husband and I saw the antlers, it was like, I had to change the whole theme of it. Cause he's like, this goes, 
he's like, because we were looking for a little Santa Claus and we couldn't, we found a Santa outfit, but it, it just didn't match. It, it just didn't work. And we found these antlers. Wait till you see it because this goes with the theme of my house and you'll see in a minute. So anyways, this was my little goodie box. All the stuff needs to get put away now. My needle and thread because I, I really don't do, um, I used a little hot glue, but I like to sew things. So the only hot glue on my um, stocking is way down in here where I put a piece of jute and I this loop goes way down into this part and the hot glue is right in here. And then the rest is, you can see it, it's just stitched in. So this is stitched in and there's a little stitching in there because I just hot glued the the different in temperatures it can undo its stuff so this is those jingle bells I had um, and that just these don't light up but this came out really cute so this will go back on its place but let me show you so let me get my tablet here and I'll pr try to take a better picture this evening and show you guys tomorrow because I'm thinking about putting lights hold on I gotta find the photos. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> There's my son. Where's the photos I just took? Yikes. That's not the photos. I just took a picture. Where did it go? Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cannot find. Uh, oh, there they are. Okay, here they are. So this is one set. Okay, these are from the dollar store, right? Um, I closed the curtain. So here's the little lantern one. So each of, I have two of each, right? One for each set of garlands. So this is from the dollar store. This is with the jingle bell. This is my little cardinal bird wreath and this is the antlers so let's see and here's the no oh, that's the same one noel noel this one says snow so here they are again so anyways i'll try to get another photo hank and ethan in the snow that was years ago let's see there's my hankster cards. That was the ice force. There was a leak. <laughs> Hank had left the water hose spraying and uh, this was years ago. That was his digging spot in the yard and it frosted overnight and it was like icicles growing out of the ground. <laughs> so anyways, let's get on with the card, right? So I'm looking at getting the Christmas tree put up today. So let's get, I need a stamp and pierce mat. And I've lost my good whiteboard. Um, it's buried in this room and I've got sewing to do. So let's grab, I do have a stamp in here's mat. Oh. So I'll show you. My aunt bought these stockings. They're not finished and these go perfectly in the theme, right? But they need um, the trimming and stuff. So I got back <laughs> the... Uh, bias tape and I told her I would finish them. So I'm going to finish these off with the bias tape and do a loop and they will have a spot. And um, then I'm going to make a tag with them. So maybe those little bulb things will be where I hang the names on the stockings this year. So that's something I've got to do today. So let's get on with the, let's see what we have. So that's a maybe piece. That's a scrap piece. So here we go from the kit. We have the tag and the little ornament and we're using a note card. So five by seven scored it three and a half and an envelope, right? And then we have a piece that's three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then to remember this old DSP, guys, if you know the name of this, please shout it out in the comment section because I cannot remember but I have a, I have this, I had a three by six piece of this and I have, where did it go? 
my notebook is going to fall open. Where is it? I have one. Oh, it's not over there. It's over here. And I have one with this piece. So if I do note cards, I'm going to get two more. And this has that pink in, uh, this is like Marvelous Magenta or what is it, Polish Pink in it. So I'm going to get two more cards out of this if I do note cards. Because I can cut it like this. So I know I'll get at least two more out of this. Um don't think I have any more of the pink. I have a scrap piece. So it was in the same year as all of this was. So anyways, that's what I'm, I'm using. All right. So layer number one, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Layer number two, DSP, three by four and a half. And that's what we're going to work with. We're going to work with Shaded Spruce and Poppy Parade. Or those are the colors for this kit. We have to do the Smushy Smushy Dance bit with the stamps. But first, let's just glue these together and onto the actual card base. Still, this gets so icky. Still working with it. The only thing is, is that that doesn't get as clogged up here in the um, coldness of my stamp room because I got up this morning and I uh, turned the heater on in my stamp room before I cleaned up, before I did my little workout. Oh, my daughter, she introduced me to this great new drink at Starbucks called um, a gingerbread oat milk chai which I love tea yes so this was like a week and a half ago and since then I probably I've even I, I never go to Starbucks it's not my thing but guys in a week and a half I went down there myself three other times so that was four then I wondered you know I've been losing weight I wondered why did I only lose like one pound this week that that's usually I can lose I've been losing you know up to two pounds because I've been so strict with my diet. I, I have a really good goal. I'm doing really good. Um, then it hit me this morning when I was like thinking and last night I had a headache because I, I haven't had, you know, really any caffeine. I drink decaf tea. Hold on. Taking a sip. My husband's like, well, you thought about having a, a Diet Coke. He's like, maybe just the thought of it. And I said, don't be don't be so daft, you know? Ah, don't be daft. So I'm going to tell you the story while I'm doing this mushy, smushy dance with my stamps. Um, like, don't be daft, you know? So this morning, I, I took Hank to school for a change. And this is going to be for our envelope. So let's smushy, smushy, smushy it. Um... There we go. And I was like, hmm, oh, that, that drink sounds so good. It sounds so good. Then I thought, wait a minute. Let me see how many calories. So I look it up. And for, you know, the grande size, whatever they call that thing, I, it was like um, 370 calories. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, that's crazy. And I thought, oh, okay, that's not bad. Then I looked up. Then it showed me how many carbs were in that drink. Hold on your horses, guys. 67 carbs. Now, I haven't been doing total keto, but I have really been watching. Like, I don't eat bread. I don't eat potatoes. And I thought to myself, that one drink killed me. That's why I haven't lost any weight the last, you know, I lost all of one pound. I was like, whoa, baby. So, yeah, no, not drinking that drink. Once, 
maybe a month. So I am going to go ahead. Oh, if I put it there, that's not going to be good. Do can I put it down here and get away with it? It's the trick. Do I have anything? We're going to go ahead and stick it down here. Why? Because I can, and I would love to stick it up there, but I'm, I want to stick my address there. So we're just going to send it there. And I think we're going to also put it up here. Oh, that will be cute. So there's those little baubles, which I, I love this. This is absolutely adorable. I do see where this kit is going to be a bit challenging. So could put Holly Jolly up above that, but we're going to leave it because I don't have that one on a block yet. And we need to do Merry Christmas in red. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to fit on here. This is going to go sideways to cover up that little circle up in that corner. So let's see. Now that we did the smushy smushy with it. Oh, perfect. Great. And I want the little sparkly bits. We're going to do some here. And some right there. And I'm reaching for the envelope and now I'm telling myself no, 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 no. And then we are going to add a little bit of shaded spruce. Yeah, all my dashing. It was like eating a gingerbread cookie that had been soaked in milk. That drink was so good. But beware. Hmm. Yeah, it's not diet friendly. And I haven't worked this hard just to have it ruin me. So I'm going to go let it go all the way across there. I mean, these little border stamps are really cute. But I can see why, why people paused and didn't get this kit. I mean, if you work in an office setting or have young kids, like I said, I see this kit being very um, working for that setting. So I'm even going to keep this totally flat. Why? Because I can't because I can or you know what I could put a great big red rhinestone right there if I want to but you know what I don't think so I think that's really cute so let's stamp the inside now and these the other stamps I don't need to do the smushy smushy on I'm a little worried about that so we're going to flip this over and we are going to do this one in shaded spruce, maybe if I can find where I stuck it. There. Set that up there. So I am chaperoning, being a chaperone with Hank's class, to a play. My favorite. Okay, ready? One of my favorite things to do. Yes, to a Christmas carol. Yes, I'm so excited. But more than that, I'm going to be that grandma who is dressed to the nines in holiday cheer. Mm hmm. Yes, ugly Christmas sweater and all. Wait, I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you guys my. Oh, we're going to put the little, the little bobbly bit across there. Um, not in that <laughs> wrong color. Um, so I have the light up. That's cute. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Give that a second to like dry. So I got the light up from the dollar store. Those, right? And then, oh yeah and these to go with my ugly sweater, right? Now I am on the hunt for earrings. And I cannot believe that at the dollar store, maybe they just don't have them yet. I haven't, I mean, 
I guess I could take off some of those and put it on a little loop for an earring thing. But I'm on the hunt for earrings. <laughs> I wanted light up earrings. You know, smaller than this. I've seen them. Um, so, yes. I'm going to be that grandma. Yes, I am. Hank keeps telling me, Mongy, it's not December yet. And I said, Hank, I love Christmas. I love Christmas. You know, we're singing in the car. Christmas carols are playing in my house. And <laughs> he's getting to that age. And it's even that much more fun, you know. His last football game, we were singing in the car on the way home, Christmas carols. Um, his mom woke him up a few days ago singing Christmas carols in her little uh, Bluetooth microphone. She has, you know, yes. I want to keep that little circle intact. I don't want that coming out. So this is just going like so. So there is my wee little Christmas card sparkly, right? I wish this was silver, but you know, you can't be too picky. And there is my first alternative and the DSP is what brings the pink and makes it work. So there you guys go. Thanks for letting me chat with you and tell you about what I plan on doing with Hank. <laughs> he will remember it. He is old enough to know that, uh, yeah that I dressed up for his thing all in Christmas cheer. Um, I thought about even finding some kind of glitter. I have this stuff and putting glitter on my cheeks and everything. Uh, don't put it past me. I just might. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could, I could safety pin one of these to my ugly sweater. Oh, I just might. I just might. Oh, I might need to go to a thrift store and look for a purse, a red purse. I don't have a red purse. Oh, I might. I think I will maybe even hand stitch these onto my... I. That's a good idea. Uh, yes. Fun stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. He will remember... I will be that grandma and I hope, I know he will get a kick out of it anyway. So thanks for watching everybody. And, um, I hope you enjoyed my videos. I know some of you did not get this kit and that's okay, but I hope you enjoy seeing what I create in, um, I don't know how many projects I'm going to get out of this kit, but, um, I'm going to still try to do what I can with what I have left over. And every day that I do, I'm going to share with you another one of my stockings. So, I hope to see you all again soon in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now, everybody.